I know that the Speaker is a servant of this House and that he takes his responsibilities to us extremely seriously. It is that duty towards us and our rights as members in this place that commands our respect of him. We all have obligations in this place to ensure that all views can be expressed and that individual members and parties of all colours and sizes can have their say. As a member of the government benches, sometimes that is difficult on opposition day debates. Motions are always deliberately confected to try and engineer the greatest possible backlash against members. But we, on this side of the House, have never asked that the procedures of this House be upturned in order to mitigate against such pressures. Even when we have faced extreme abuse. Mr Speaker has stated in the decision that he has taken today and that he is entitled to take that he wished for all propositions on the order paper to be put to the House. However, this decision has raised temperatures in this House on an issue where feelings are already running high and this has put honourable and right honourable members in a more difficult position. It also appears from the advice of his clerk that the decision is taken against the long-standing and established processes and procedures of this House, and that the consequences may be that government is not able to respond to opposition day motions, and as such, the government does not have confidence that it will be able to vote on its own motion. For that reason, the government will play no further part in the decision this House takes on today's proceedings. I would like to stress that the government's position on Israel and Gaza remains unchanged, as my right honourable friend the Prime Minister outlined today. We want to see the fighting in Gaza end as soon as possible. We never again want to see Hamas carry out the appalling terrorist attacks that Israel was subject to. And we, un- we know that just calling for an immediate ceasefire now, which collapses back into fighting within days or weeks, is not in anyone's interests. We will be reiterating the government's position via a written ministerial statement. I fear that this most grave uh, matter that we are discussing today and this afternoon has become a political row within the Labour Party and that regrettably, and that regrettably I want to hear the point of order. Thank you. And that, thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. And that, regrettably, Mr Speaker has inserted himself into that row with today's decision and undermined the confidence of this House in being able to rely on its long-established standing orders to govern its debates. Long-established conventions that should not be impaired by the current view of a weak leader of the opposition and a divided party. I would ask Madam Deputy Speaker, I would ask that the Speaker take the opportunity to reassure all honourable and right honourable members that their Speaker, our Speaker, will not seek to undermine those rights in order to protect the interests of particular members, and that future Opposition Day debates will not be hijacked in this way. And I say this, Madam Deputy Speaker, for the benefit of all members. Yeah.